Good evening. Hello, hello, JC. Good evening. Good evening, class. We're going to start in a minute. Okay, class, welcome to our very last day of class. Uh, thank you so much for being on time. Daniel, how was your day? Harrison, how was your day? Marlene, okay. <laughs> okay, great to hear that. Okay, so it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday night. By the night, exactly. <laughs> we are about to uh, finish this uh, course. Teacher. Harrison? Yes, tell us. Uh, as always, something busy. Busy agenda. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Today is Friday. And the body now, Damn, the body now ever, right? And the body knows it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Narciso? How was your day? Why, thank you, teacher. And you? My day was relaxing, so, you know, I am not much very, to do. Very easy. See, easy day, yeah. Actually, today I had a couple of meetings with my, my students' parents, and that was it. Not much to do. But then, yeah. I'm glad to hear your day was easy and relaxing. What about you, JC and Christina? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good, teacher. Good. Great. Great. Hey guys, how are you doing with the homework? Did you complete everything? I could see some of you already finished. Or are you still missing some of your activities, like mid, like final test, homework, um, midterm? You finished already, or you still have pending things? Yes, teacher, I finished. Harrison finished. I finished. Finish. Okay. Finish. Finish. You're ready. Okay. So great. That's great to hear. And what about you, Marlene? You finished. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, <laughs> I'm good. Nice. And I fi I finished my is my computer and now is going to um, my home. Okay, so you finished already and now you're on the way back home. Okay, be yeah. careful. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Welcome, Rafa. Welcome. How was your day, Rafa? Everything good. Nice. And did you, yeah, I think you finished already the homework, right? And also the assignments for this week. Am I right? Did you finish? finish? Every, finish. All right. Great to hear that. Uh, Norma, Maria Julia, Gabriela, how are you doing? Is everything okay? It's Friday. Did you finish the assignments already? Norma, did you finish all the assignments? Yes? No? <laughs> okay, uh, maybe she is not able to listen to me. I'm going to start checking the attendance, guys, as the first step that we usually do every night. So the first one on the list is uh, Anna Elizabeth. Is Anna here? No. Okay. Angel Narciso? Here, teacher. Thank you so much. 
Christina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel. Present teacher. Great, thank you so much. We have Angel and then we have Christina here, Daniel here. Okay, Gabriela. Present Gabriela was, teacher. Thank you so much. Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Herson. Jose Ruben. Not here. Okay. Um, JC. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much for answering. Linda. Uh, present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Uh, let's see. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. No, Marlene. I, she says she's present teacher. Okay, she says she's driving. Okay, thank you so much for that. Um, let's see next one. Uh, Marvin, 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 not here, right? Okay. Let's see. Marlene is here. Marvin, not here. And the next one, Rafael, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Rafa. Then next one, uh, Ray. Is, is Norma here? Norma not here, right? Norma? Oh, yeah, yes, she is. Yes, hello. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, okay, Norma. Thank you, Norma, Rafa, and then Ray. Ray is not here, right? Ray, not connected yet, okay. And Xiomara, is Xiomara here? I think she isn't. Okay, guys. Well, it's um, well, it's good to be connected here, and especially because today is the very last day. <laughs> and you know, I know it's been a great experience throughout this whole month. It's been four weeks already. Today we have a whole review about unit number four, and there are, I think, two pages that we haven't finished from the handout from the book that you have been given. So we're going to work on that activity. And we also have one, I mean, we have the survey scheduled for 920, I think. So at 920, we are going to be, you know, all of us connected doing the survey, okay? I really hope you guys have all this information ready, right, for, for 920, okay? So have it ready, you are going to need it. You're going to need the information, I think, um, was shared on, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. So it was sent to you on Wednesday. We are going to need that for the survey. So, but before we do that, we're going to start with um, some review to see, you know, some things that we haven't finished. And maybe you may have questions that you want to ask. And that's going to be basically what, what we're going to be doing. Okay, give me one second. Let me share the, the right screen. This is the one. Okay. All right, here we have, I know you guys can see my screen and well, we're gonna, I wanna ask you directly. So in general, what have you learned, um, you know, from this unit? What things you remember we studied this unit? Uh, Rafa, what can you tell us? Like all these, you know, weeks you've been working on the content, unit content, the structures, what can you tell us, like a brief summary? I don't understand, teacher. Um, like, uh, what have you learned in this, um, let's say, full course? Like, any idea or anything that you might have practiced or reviewed? throughout these four weeks, because it's four weeks. Or what did you learn like this week or previous week from this course? Anything that you can tell us? What did you practice, Rafa? What do you remember? What did you learn on this unit or on these four units? Because it's four units. Ah, thank you. They use the 
could, would, mm -hmm. and and for more and for more. Okay. Okay. So you didn't know how to use that, Rafa, and you learned it in this course. Repeat. Yeah, so yes. you, you didn't know about this um, topic. Was it new? Eran, eran cosas nuevas para usted? This that you learned or you just reviewed? Mm. New. New, okay, all right. New. So it was, it was new, okay. So what other things, guys? Uh, let me ask you a question. What, let, let me send it to a chat. That will facilitate a little bit. What is uh, the most, let's say, uh, meaningful uh, learning experience, learning experience you had in this, in this course? So I want to know if you would, what is the, the most, let me send, let me send it to a chat that will help, I think. Okay. Okay. So can you check your can you check the chat? What is the most meaningful learning experience you had in this course? What can you tell me? What do you remember from this course? I'm gonna give you two minutes, think about the answer, and then I want you to share it with me. Okay. You guys understand the question? Yes, or is it difficult to understand? So if you understand the question, take two minutes, have you know something to share, and then I'm gonna you know choose some of you to, to share, okay? Okay, Norma, since you already sent one idea, I would like to hear, you know, I like that topics. Etiquette for me was nice to review. So would you mind explaining? Mm. Yes, uh, uh, a form is the talk about uh, a co-worker, for example, with respect. Okay. So as you guys can see, Norma sent on the chat that for her was about etiquette, okay? And I like that topic, being honest with you, because it's something that we can, uh, we need to know, right? When we um, interact with others. Okay, um, Narciso, can you explain a little bit more about, you said that how to make reservations in our hotel and how to give directions on a place. So why is that? Why, what's the reason? Was it easy, Narciso? Was it easy or difficult? Difficult topic, easy topic. Cristina, you said the uh, directions and places. Easy topic, difficult topic, or why? Um, so, so. 
um, because uh, use the, the the on the right on the left the across the street the direction uh, is big difficult. Okay. Uh, when asked the question. So how do you get to your work? How do you get to your work? Do you a go car. by, by, go car. by car. You go by car, you take you take the bus or by foot, by horse. <laughs> You take, uh, I don't know, a taxi, okay? Good, um, and what about this unit, which is about uh, travel plans? You haven't said anything yet. So um, what did you learn from these units? What about hotels, amenities, um, future plans? What can you tell me? Anybody, please open your mic and talk to the class. This class is for reviewing. So if you have questions, guys, I will appreciate if you can you know, open your mic and raise your hand or say, you know, I, I want you to explain a little bit more about these and then I'll be open to help. So feel Peter, free to- and, an, and another topic is uh, how to use uh, be going to. Mm -hmm. Okay. When do we use it? When do we use be going to? In a schedule or activities. Okay, a schedule activities in the past or future or present. Oh, it's after. Okay, so that will be for the future, right? It's activities that are going to take place in the near future. Okay, or even, you know, not near future, it can be long term or short term plans as well. Well, uh, guys, thank you so much for sharing. Is there anybody else who would like to add, you know, any idea about this topic? No? Okay, so no problem. So as you can see, guys, uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, com communication at the workplace. Okay. And we can use tool and ensure. And these are fundamental verbs uh, when speaking English. And stay search with plain obligations, ability, probabilities, and much more, for example. Yes, okay, yeah, that, that is correct, right? Um, it is very necessary, you know, to, to know about that. And especially when you are in charge of like people, right? And at work and yeah, that's, that's essential. So thank you so much for sharing guys. What about if we focus on the activity we have in here on the screen, which is speaking activity. And why do you prefer or why do your partners, you know, um, travel on business? We have some um, reasons here. What about if we uh, rank then, which is the top one, which is the first place and so on. If you had to choose, so which one will go on first place? So I'm gonna give you one minute for you to read the options or reasons and then start ranking them, okay? Based on your experience or based on your personal, you know, um, ideas.
So since this is a very easy activity, guys, uh, we're going to start sharing, okay? And, but before we, we do that, I want to um, go over the pronunciation and meaning in case something is, you know, um, still unclear. So the first one is uh, to attend conferences and seminars. Let's see, um, to attend conferences and seminars. That's the, that's the first one here, but it will change according to your you know, opinion, right? Next one, I don't know if you have questions. I think this is kind of like clear, right? What the reason is and to go on trainings, like um, when you, what is training? What's training? Can you explain to me in English what train is or what training is? Anybody? What's training? Entrenamiento? No. Yes, that's, that's, the, that's the one in Spanish, right? So uh, training is when you, um, I don't know, that will depend. Training will be for you to have new updates or maybe to develop skills, right? That's training, right? As you said it. What about next one we have here? We have to visit clients and to attend in company meetings. Maybe, why not? You can travel and then to go to company meetings, which means meetings related to business. And of course, your company. Uh, to visit agents or dealers. What's a dealer, JC? What do you understand by dealers? Distribuidores. Okay. Yeah, Narciso, it has to do with that. Dealers, like drug dealers. <laughs> La tutuni chapa. <laughs> Is it tutuni chapa? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, uh, dealing, deal, dealers means, as Narciso said, those people who, well, in this case, it is not that, like, freelancer that are, you know, selling, it's just like, it's a little bit more formal, right, and then dealers are authorized people, maybe, or, or agencies who are in charge of, you know, uh, distributing their products or anything that the company assigns. Okay, and the last one, uh, to visit manufacturing plants. Okay, so this is the pronunciation. And, and if you have questions about its meanings, please send me a message in the chat or raise your hand to ask. And then you're gonna be sharing about your ranking, okay? No questions? Okay, now I want you to start talking to the class and please try to justify your answers. Trate de justificar su respuesta, right? If you have never traveled, si nunca viajado, no, no worries, okay? Just rank it and say, okay, I think people um, travel a lot due to this or because of that. And then you explain, maybe, maybe you have heard something, not, not a personal anecdote, but maybe you have heard your peers or your a friend who usually travel, okay? So I'm gonna give the chance for you to speak. Who would like to start speaking, guys? Go ahead and try, please. For me, teacher, uh, the number one is to attend conference and seminars because the seminars is, it's, uh, it's like too easy. In, to to explain in another country. I never I I in my work in my work life I'll say yes my work in my work life I never travel out the country for 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 my work no because uh, I understand uh, and. Uh, I understand the, the other people is, is travel, okay? The number two is to visit manufacturing. Manufacturing. Hello, Daniel. I think Daniel is having trouble. I, I'm gonna distribute uh, another product, but I need now 
is the process of manufacturing. And the number three is to go training. Okay, uh, I never, I never, uh, uh, I never travel, but is the, the training is important because you you learn new new topics about your work about about your job. It's only teacher. Right. Do Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Do yeah, you, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, there was a time in which you there were there was interference on the explanation you were uh, doing, but yes, I was able. I think we were able to hope, to follow up you. So, thank you for your participation. I wanted to suggest something, Daniel, to say como dije. You say how I say, but I think if you say the following expression. Let me see, one second. I'm gonna send you one. I consider it sounds better. Look, can you read it please on the chat? Like I say. Like I said, yeah, like, like I that. said. Like I like, said. Yeah. Like, like I, I said. Right. Okay. I, yeah, I heard, I heard you say how I say, right? And then it's okay. better, it's better to say like I said, like I said. Like I said, como dije, like I said, or as I mentioned before, this is very a little bit more, more, more formal. As I mentioned, mentioned before. before, yeah, you can say that I, as I mentioned before, and then you blah, blah, blah. These two suggestions are um, sounds more, they sound more formal, and it's more common to hear people saying, like I said, like I said, or as I mentioned before. Okay, so the okay. rest, the rest was really good. So thank you so much for your participation. I want to hear more thank people you. speaking, more people speaking. Thank you, teacher. Guys, talk to, talk to us, please. Try. Challenge yourself. Try to explain. Who's next? Come on, come on. Go ahead, please. Christina, try, Harrison, Narciso, Marlene, JC, Rafa, Ruben, Linda, Norma, Maria, Julia, <sighs> Martin, everybody, Gabriela. So who wants to go next? Give us your ranking, your own perception, your own ideas. For me, this is the first one because based on what I have heard or based on my experience and blah, blah, blah. And then that's it, only three. If you can mention more, it'll be fine. Go, I'm, uh, I'm going to, you know, stop talking. Me, teacher. Awesome, JC. Let it flow. Okay. Uh, number one, to attend the conference and meeting. And for me, it's, it's important because uh, the I think that the new northern language, yes, conocimiento. Knowledge. Nod yeah. nod knowledge. Knowledge. Uh -huh. Um, and we prepare for competence competence in the the mo the most um I don't know I I don't remember the word but. We prepare for competence. And two is to work on training. Um, I, in this case, I, I, I work, uh, I, I work, uh, 
and which thing and it's, in, uh, it's important the training for is for prepare the games and the body uh -huh. and to visit claims because it's necessary for 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 vender sales the sales sales the the product only three okay yeah that's the idea thank you jc for trying that was really good okay and yeah you feel you have this challenge right when you want to explain something you start thinking okay so what do i say now okay and that's the challenge and that's exactly what i want you to do because the more you think okay you are getting more familiar in how to speak and all of a sudden you know words come out without you thinking about it okay that's the idea así que entre más prácticas de repente usted habla ya las ideas vienen sin estarlas pensando okay so that's that will be the challenge and thank you for trying jc i understood le entendí todo así que good job uh, entonces conocimiento decimos knowledge para decir es importante it is important es necesario it is necessary okay so those things I, I just mandé uno de esos detallitos knowledge 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 it is important and it is necessary do we have anybody else who would like to share alguien más guys quiere compartir sure. thank you so much um, to visit clients in my case, uh, when clients visit us, we sometimes take uh, take them for a, a walk around the city uh, when they are not from here. Uh, and the other one, and let me see, to visit manufacturing plants. Uh, the company is made up of several divisions and sometimes we have uh, to go to the other plants to learn about the, the process. Um, in case he, um, the, uh, uh, let me see another one to go to training. Uh, sometimes I, I, I try in I run two hours, one hour, one hours, and may exercise a routine of exercise. That's all, teacher. Good, and that is very common, Harrison. Uh, when you have a company that is innovating, right? You have to learn new processes, and for that, sometimes you need to go to another company to another country, right? To learn about this process, right? And this is what you said, and, and that is very common, especially when the company is updating something mm -hmm. or because it's implementing a new methodology or stuff like that, you know, as you said it. So thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate that, okay? So um, let's move on, guys. We, we're, we're gonna have a chance for you to speak if you haven't participated. We have this next activity. And this next activity is, uh, let me see here right, really quick. Let me close this thing, okay. Um, we've been talking about how to use going to, right? And this is exactly what we're gonna do now. Think about five schedule activities. I remember Marlene said that we have the going to to talk about schedule activities, which means future plans, okay? So, uh, create please these five sentences using this information right here. Make a reservation, request hotel service, attend a business event, check out and stay. So how can you write one sentence for each idea? I give you five minutes, start writing please. When you finish, let me know.
remember that you need to use the um, going to, okay, in each of these sentences. If you finish, please let me know. It's only five sentences. Maybe it's, it's easy, maybe it's difficult. And I would like those who didn't share in the previous activity to share. And if you can write for you or type, and if it's easy for you to type, go ahead and type your ideas on the chat, okay? But I want- I think people. I finish. Okay, JC, thank you so much. Would you like, to share one example, only one, please, JC. Uh, okay, teacher, I'm going to make a hotel reservation. Okay, nice, I'm going to make a hotel reservation. All right, that's good, thank you. Anybody else, open your mic. Hey, teacher. Thank you, go ahead, please. I'm going to request the shuttle service. Nice. Okay, uh, that's a good one, right? Especially when you don't like driving, you wanna request a shadow service. Okay, good. Anybody else, please open your mic. We are 14, uh -huh. go ahead. Me too. All right, yeah. Linda. Uh, Maria is going to make a reservation in the Mountain Hotel the next weekend. Nice, okay, great, great ideas. You are adding more ideas, which is awesome, okay? Thank you, Linda. Anybody else? I think I heard another voice who was going to share. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please, thank you. The supervisor is going to check out the products in the afternoon. Nice, like it, good. Anybody else, please share? Open your mic, please. Don't be afraid. Open it and talk to us. If you haven't shared, please make sure to open your mic. I know I can see some of you haven't shared and you don't wanna say anything, not good. Go ahead, please, share. Don't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, Marlene, Marvin, Maria Julia, Rubén, Narciso. They are going to make a reservation at the hotel. At the hotel. Hotel. Okay. Thank you, Herson. Yeah. Good one. Uh, Narciso, what did you say? Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. I called you from home number 40. Could you clean your room? Okay. Okay. Could you please? What was the what was the compliment? The, the idea? Could you please? And then could you could you could you, could you clean the room, please? Could you the room you clean? Clean. clean. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Great to hear that. Great ideas, guys. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. Wow. Look at this one. We have accommodations and amenities. Okay. We have new ones here and we are going to classify 
them, okay? So which one is an accommodation and which one is an amenity? Let's try to remember, okay? What did we say accommodations are? And what did we say amenities are? What are amenities? An accommodation is a uh, room, and I think it's a amenity. It's in the uh, in the place in the hotel, and I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. In a lugar not tan específico. Mm -hmm. no. More or less, more or less. What else can you add? Glass. Anybody else? We had one idea, which is close. What else can you say to me, say to that class? Amenities, what did we say? Remember, please. Comodidades, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what did we say in English? Do you remember that what we said to describe this? Let's look for it, guys. Let's, there's one word that you haven't said. It is started with letter F to describe amenities. What is it? Amenities, for example, is swimming pool, mm -hmm. is mini bar, mm -hmm. uh, service room. Mm -hmm. Here we have it. What does it say? What did I say? Let's start with letter F. So what is it? Amenities are? The features, features, feature, e features, 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 features of the hotel. That's the key. That's the that's la clave. Features of the hotel. So features of a place that are avail available for guests, right, to use. So that's those are amenities. And accommodation is the place, right, such as a room in a hotel. So that's accommodation. So based on this definition, guys, that we had you know, a couple of classes ago, now let's take uh, some time to classify, okay? So let's go ahead and classify these uh, two options or two uh, types. Let's take um, maybe five minutes and then we talk, okay? In each corresponding circle, okay? Five minutes, start working please. And then we discuss.
If you finish, please let me know. I finished the chair. All right, thank you. So please confirm, guys, if you finished. Let's finish. Good, two people finished. Okay. Finish. Awesome. I think everybody has finished, which means that we can compare our answers. Okay. So let's discuss and let's see if we, if we have the same or we have different answers. So I'm going to give you three minutes. Please make this comparison with your partners. Okay. Make uh, this com com comparison with your partner. Here we go. Let's see. Um, check if you have the same or discuss why you think you should or not change one um, of this option into another category. So here we go. Three or five minutes the most. Perdón, no se le escuchó por qué. A usted en accommodation. Mhm. Uh -huh. Yes. Tengo convención hotel. Mhm. Uh -huh. um, swimming pool. No estoy segura. En accommodation. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, hello, Xiomara. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you, Xiomara? Hello. Ay, I... tenía problemas aquí con el internet, que está lloviendo y hasta ahorita me lo voy a conectar. Vaya, nos, vamos a asignarle a un grupo para que vea lo que están haciendo sus compañeros, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno, aquí vamos.
Teacher. Yes. I have a question. I think accommodation is like a uh, stuff you you uh, how say you you have inside the room accommodation is right you i would say not inside the room because it also apply for you know uh, the place itself okay the place yeah. is accommodation but then the amenities mm. are what you have inside or the features you can find in a place and accommodation mm -hmm. refers to the place. And in this case, uh, based on what we have studied, it refers to um, uh, hotels. And we, we haven't mentioned the other one, which is similar, but less expensive, uh, which is mm -hmm. hostels. So those are the accommodations. And maybe it's not like big ones because accommodation also applies for small things like the ones we have here we have let's see i want to hear the ones you have classified and then we talk about if it, if it makes or not sense okay so what do mm -hmm. you have daniel what do you have on on let me let me share what do you have on a, on accommodations let me see one second and let me show you what do you have on accommodations give me a in second a mm -hmm. what do you have okay, in, a, in accommodations i have Hair dryer, mini bar, cable, room service. Mm, accommodations, no. It refers to the place, to a place. Yes. What do you have? Let's see. Hostel, convention hotel, and. Mm. Cabin. Cabin, yes, yes. Um, I don't know, but spa. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, amenities. Amenities. Spa is amenities, right? Spa. Okay. One is bed and breakfast. Exactly. Bed and breakfast bed. is accommodation. BNB accommodations. Yes, it's a place. It's a place. Bed and breakfast is a place. I don't think we have that in the, in our country. Maybe similar things, but yes, accommodation. Damn. Yes. Okay. So Linda, you solved everything. <laughs> so hostels, convention hotels, um, B and B or bread, bed and breakfast. And... Is accommodation. Uh, yes, that's the yeah. place is accommodation, right? The place. It it I'm sorry. The place is safe is accommodation. Mm, or, no, of, because of, ofrece seguridad. No sé. No, but uh, when it says safe, when it says safe, it doesn't refer to the seguridad in this case. Uh -huh. Safe, if you remember, is is the feature, is the amenity. If you go to a hotel, if you pay for that service, the safe is the safety oh, yeah. box. The box. Uh -huh. the box where you put on your jewelry, your money, your everything that is valuable for you, right? Um, you put it right okay. there. Mm -hmm. It's so, amenity. Amenity. Yeah, and this, this is an area, okay. yes. So accommodation, guys, refers to the place general place and that is why i accept everything linda has said hostels convention hotels uh b and b or bed and breakfast and i think what, what else uh cabins because cabins are small rooms right small rooms within a ship or a boat but maybe sometime we have cabins you know where you can go and stay like alone like privacy to you know relax or, or think about some stuff so those are the places, basically. But I don't know, what do you have, guys? Do you have something similar like Linda's or do you have something different? Guys, talk to me. So what is in the amenities then? What about amenities? What is it? Uh -huh, and it yeah, go ahead, please. I think swimming pool, hard dryers, mini bar, cable TV, 
spa, high span weight, behind the breakfast, behind the breakfast, safe. Only that. Okay, bed and breakfast is not an amenity because bed and breakfast is a place. B and B, it's a place. So if it is a place, we cannot have it in amenities because then it would be a commodation. Okay, I want to hear more more opinions. What do you have? What else do you have? What can you tell me? How do you say accommodation in Spanish, guys? What is accommodation? Anybody? What is a synonym? Okay, and what is a synonym of accommodation? Synonyms? What comes to your mind for synonyms of accommodation? Synonyms? Have you? Uh -huh. El lugar. El lugar. Okay, it's a place. Yes, it's a place. It's a commodation where you can stay, like housing or lodging that are very similar to those, you know, to this word. So, yes, that would be the alojamiento, right? The place. Amenities, then we have the swimming pool, like features you can enjoy. Um, save hair dryer for ladies and mini bar if you like, you know, having a couple of ones. And uh, how do you say it? Cable or the cable de, de la televisión, we say, we say, no, cable. exactly, cable, 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 muy bien, K, 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 cable, 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 okay, high speed internet, high speed wifi, and cabin demo que es accommodation, los que les he puesto un chequecito son los accommodation porque son places, los demás son amenities. So those features that we can find in a place, within a place. Okay. Uh, Tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, guys? Open your mic and talk, please. Preguntas? Questions? Are we okay? Good. Let's move on. Le voy a tomar la asistencia y luego vamos a continuar, okay? Um, let's see. The attendance, last time, incredible. O oh, no, todavía no. <laughs> Faltando pez. Okay, uh, let's see. Number one here is Ana Elizabeth. I think she didn't make it. That's concerning. Okay, Ana Elizabeth didn't make it. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, JC. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Mm -hmm. And Ray, Ray Xiomara. Xiomara is here. Thank you so much. All right, we have finished, guys. Let's move on. Final, 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 you know, final page, I think. So we almost finished. We have, let's talk about going to, let's review this. Um, so let's work on this, guys. I know it's going to be very easy for you to identify the mistakes. So take a look at these five sentences and let's, um correct the mistake okay let's say three minutes for that
finish. Okay, who finished? Let's see. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, we have uh, most of you finished already. So let's go over these um, mistakes. Let's see, number one, Christina, read number one, please. She is going to stay in the single room. Is there a mistake? No. No mistakes? No. Are you sure? Yes. 100%? Cien por ciento? Yes. Como que me llamo Cristina Martín. <gasps> wow. <laughs> hey. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, I disagree with you. Si no me cambia nombre. ¿Cómo le vamos a llamar? A ver. ¿Cómo le vamos a llamar? A ver. No sé. Elija un nombre. <laughs> Deme, no sé. Que, que sí tiene un Deme, deme ver, deme. quiero ver qué cara de, vamos a buscarle el nombre. Voy a recomendar. Ah, ya se llama Cristina. Ay, quiero ver dónde está Cristina. Ay, quiero ver qué nombre puedo poner Cristina. Me gusta Stephanie, la verdad. Ayúdenme, guys. <risa> <risa> Marlene, entonces. <risa> ah, le ponemos Marlene. <risa> <risa> Cristina le vamos a poner. Eh, sí, uno, uno parecido. Cristiana, ¿verdad? Me parece. Teacher. <risa> don't, don't, don't give up, teacher. Don't give up. Don't give up. No. Ok. Malo, veamos, malo. veamos, veamos. Ahora te va. <risa> I like that. I, I like that. <risa> okay. I like that. I like that. Ok. Ok, el secreto de amor. Ok. Um, Cristina. Acepta, acepta el, el reto, Cristina. Ya vio ahí qué ha pasado. Dice, a, a ver, Solo por ahora. Vaya, ahora te llamarás Glory. Porque tú eres The Glory. Ok. Um, ¿Por qué es? le vamos a poner? ¿Por qué le vamos a poner a Cristina Gloria entonces? Is she going? So the number one how mistake here. Yeah, there's a mistake here. ¿Cuál es el mistake? Is I she going? Es una pregunta, exactamente. Mm -hmm. Is she bla bla bla? Miren aquí. Yes. Yes. To... <laughs> Is she no going bien. to stay in a single room? Uh -huh. Ajá, porque... Hello, Gloria. <laughs> Ay, Glory. Sí, yes. La importancia de ver el, el detalle. El signo ¿no? de, la, de la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, bueno, well, no, no worries, Glory. It's ok, you know, we understand that. So, no worries. Ok, next one, number two. Rubén, ahora te llamarás Gloria. So, what is it? Is it okay? Uh, perfect. Yes. Perfect score. Hundred yes. percent si, sure. Si no, si no, ¿cómo te vas a llamar, Rubén? También te va a cambiar nombre. Ajá. No, porque yo no voy. <laughs> okay. Do you guys agree with Rubén? Do you agree with Rubén? Yes. I agree. Yeah, okay. no le cambiamos nombre. What about number three? What's the mistake, Narciso? Or is it correct? It's correct. Are they going arrive? Okay, arrive. Okay, hundred percent sure. No. After the verb. Le cambiamos to... nombre. Yes. De, déjenlo oh. ser, déjenlo ser. Let it be, let it be. Ya lo salvaron. What's the mistake? Two, right. Exactly. Nos falta el tú, Narciso. One, uh, two, right. Going to. Ajá, going, going to. to. Bien. Uh, mm -hmm. What about number four, JC? Uh -huh. Number four. 
is correct. 100%. Are you going to rent a car? Yes. No mistakes. No, it's question. Are mm. you going to rent a car? Hmm. I doubt it. 100% sure, JC. I think yes. Mm -hmm. Do you Do guys you agree? Change the name? <laughs> Would, you change? <laughs> Would you change the name? <laughs> Yo no voy a olvidar esta escena de, de, de Glory. Lástima <laughs> 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 que ya, ya se rieron, todos serios estaban. Ya veo a todos. Oh. Gracias, ese de propósito. Lástima que fue la, la última clase, sino sí. todo el curso se hubiera llamado Gloria. Vale. <risa> ok. Espero que toquemos el mismo grupo el siguiente. Uh -huh. no, the next model. Gloria, the solo next, este, este módulo me iba a llamar in, Gloria. In the next model, you call Gloria. I say <risa> Gloria. <risa> if, if, if I see in the next model, I call Gloria. I call you glory. <laughs> Let's say it in glory. English. In English, so glory. So it sounds like sounds better. Okay. And what is the what is the mistake number three here? What type of room you're going to request? Are you verdad? Why? Porque una pregunta, verdad? Okay. We finish. Let's see. Vaya, tenemos la entrevista, la la survey, perdón, la encuesta en diez minutos. Así que Hagamos esto, guys, rapidito. Rapidito, rapidito. Eso no lo hemos visto, es vocabulario, nada más. Let me see one quick one. Okay. No overtaking, okay, Marlene? If you're driving, do not overtake when you see this symbol, this sign on the road. Number three. <laughs> exactly. Like, I have seen it, I have seen it like this. It, does, it, ha, it, it has like a slash, but it doesn't have... Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. No overtaking. What about maximum speed is? Which one? Which number? Seven. 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 Okay. Seven. Okay. What about no U turns? Six. 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 Okay. Don't turn right. Four. Four. And Four. don't don't turn Four. left. One. 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 Okay, the exit goes to number two. Number two, right? Mm -hmm. This is just a name of a place. I think this is in, I don't know if it is in England or something like that. I think it's England. Not sure. Uh, and then don't continue. Which number? Eight. 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 Okay, and of course, we have the last one is cool zone. I remember Daniel said this, this word yesterday is cool zone. School zone. Okay, so we have these uh, signs, roads, right? And it's, it's okay to know how to name them in English, okay? So, and then let's practice. We have eight minutes to practice this conversation. Let's practice it, okay? This is what we're gonna do. Let's take turns and let's do the following. I, can, I think you guys can see it. And this is, we're gonna use this conversation model right here, which is a speaker A and a speaker B. So what does that sign mean? It means there is a school zone ahead. What about that one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Since we don't, we don't have, um, I mean, it's kind of difficult to, to practice because we don't have, like, we can appoint, no podemos señalar, right? But, um, but, acabo de ver un mensaje, según yo, otro mensajero, ahora te llamará Gloria, me parece. Okay, um, ¿cómo, ¿cómo formulamos para que podamos practicar? A ver, what does that sign mean? ¿Qué cambiamos? What does, ¿qué, qué, qué ponemos aquí? What does... Sign number one mean. Parece, para que podamos practicar un ratito, ya lo vamos a hacer. What does sign number one mean? Y el, su compañero responde, it means bla, bla, bla. Ajá, exactly. What about number three? Ahí decimos, ¿verdad? Para no, porque aquí no podemos What estar. What does sign number three means? 
Okay, exact, exact. What does sign? O podemos decir what about number three de un solo porque ya mencionamos previamente, pero se puede también hacerlo así. Porque si usaríamos that one cuando we can point. Point es el verbo señalar. We can point, right? Pero no, no podemos en este escenario. Yo creo que vamos a practicar después de la... ¿O alguien le gustaría intentar? ¿Alguien le gustaría intentar? Hacer una... una in, in, I don't know, improvise... Who wants to do it? Those, by, those uh, volunteer. Ese point que les mandé es señalar con el dedo, así, point, point. Ok. Vamos a ver quiénes tienen apagadas las cámaras. <laughs> Para que nos... Marvin y Gabriela, ayúdenos a hacer una conversation, please. Marvin, hello. Marvin. Ok, le a alguien más porque el tiempo se nos va agotando. Volunteers, dos nada más. Háganos un ejemplo. Xiomara, Maria Julia, would you like to try? No? <laughs> come on, Xiomara, come on. What does? No me animo, teacher. Le vamos a ayudar. Tiene dos minutos. <laughs> Solo vamos a utilizar los signos, los signs. Who wants to help? One, what does... Mm, what does... Cállate. <laughs> Speak in English to her. Be quiet. What does a maximum maximum speed maximum speed is? Mm, tenemos que mencionar el número para que después okay. quien. What does what does voy a ser sign number and number one mean uh -huh. así es. Y luego la persona que le responde dice, eh, mean significa, y sería el detalle, ¿verdad? Si fue máximo speed sería, what does, what does sign number seven mean? It means maximum speed. It means maximum speed. Ajá. Uh -huh. And what about number five? It means... It means school zone. Ajá, uh -huh. school zone ahead, like that. Okay, so that's the idea. Veamos uno, alguien nos quiere ayudar. Vamos a let's stop sharing right now. Alguien. Me. Well, thank you, Cristina. I'm sorry. Thank you, Gloria. You know, I forgot. Gloria. Sorry. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> Come on, Gloria. Okay. And Rafa. Rafa. Okay. Go, Rafa. Ask the question, me. I answer. I answer you. Teacher, si le quitamos el dato. Te quiero, te quiero escucharlo. What does it mean, the number one? Ah, no, pero que ese what does it, ese it es el number one. Ese what, it does, it. what does it mean? El uso del dat, el dat es el dat. No, el das necesariamente ahí es porque es una pregunta. What does, uh -huh, what does, that, sin, that, one, that, that, 
sign, sign. Sign, mean? Number one, mean. What does that sign number one mean? Sign. Sign. Que la, 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 la duda que tengo yo es en el uso del dat, después del das. Lo que pasa es que el dat, si estuviéramos señalando, por ejemplo, what does that, ese, uh -huh. aquel, ¿verdad? Pero ah, como si no lo, lo entonces le ponemos what does sign number one, porque lo vamos ah, a tener okay. que mencionar. What, what does sign mean the number one? What does sign number one mean? Mean es el verbo al final. Va, entonces lo vamos a formular. The number one mean. Que ver, what does sign mean? The number one mean. Es correcto. Mm, what does sign mean? The number one mean. Mm, no, something. Something is. What does, uh, what does sign number blah, blah, blah one. mean? Uh, ah, ok. Uh -huh. But I say number one, me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. It yeah. means that please <laughs> uh, don't turn left. Don't turn left. What about? What about that number uh, six? Sign means. Sign, sign. Vamos, sign a, vamos a seguir practicando. We're going to continue to practice, guys. Pero vamos a, en este momento a tomarnos un tiempo ya para contestar la survey. Ok. Así que vamos a hacer un paréntesis. Alistémonos ahí. Get ready with the information you received on Wednesday. ¿Verdad? Para poder llenar todos juntos la información. Eh, confírmeme por favor con un pulgar arriba si todos tienen la información lista okay. los que no tienen cámara encendida este, este, si pueden encenderla I will appreciate it y si puede, no tiene problema con la cámara también si puede, exacto Daniel si puede hacer eso A thumbs up okay. Good. Marvin, Xiomara, María Julia okay. creo que la mayoría estamos listos María Julia Ok. Rafa en his corner, ahí está ya, ready. <coughs> ok, bueno, entonces eh, vamos a, le voy a compartir pantalla para darles un, un, uh, una idea de lo que vamos a necesitar. Miren, yo recibí este WhatsApp. Es, eh, busquémonos, permítanme, justamente en la parte del, del mensaje que contiene la información, ¿verdad? De la encuesta. Entonces, ¿todos tienen ese, ese mensajito, guys? ¿Sí? Sí, teacher. ¿Lo recibieron en WhatsApp o en correo? En correo. No, no, no. En correo. Para asegurar. Yo en correo. Bueno, Yo en correo. Para... Excelente. Entonces, tengamos disponible el, el, el correo para ir copiando la información. Ya en el caso de ustedes, pues, tenemos un poquito de experiencia. Sin embargo, necesitamos todos hacerlo al mismo tiempo para evitar algún inconveniente. Recordemos que es importantísimo, ya que es parte de los eh, requisitos también que Insafor nos requiere, la, la, este, el llenado de esta encuesta, ¿verdad? Así que la información que tenemos al principio, jóvenes, jovencitos, este, primero tenemos, permítame que no me deja, el número de orden, aquí está, número de orden, no sé si lo logran ver, tenemos la, el nombre del proveedor, Permítame. No logro modificar. Aquí está. Sí. Nombre del proveedor o el que se capacitó. Todos sabemos que es inglés corporativo, Regal International. Y el nombre del curso. Permítame que eso me está apareciendo. Deme un segundito, guys. Que creo que se, me, se fue all the way up la información y me está mostrando la anterior. Deme un segundito. Ok. Vamos a bajar un poco más. Sí, aquí está la información. Ok, ahí sí. Deme un segundito, solo para compartirles. Permítame. Hoy sí. Aquí. Okay. Um, ups, vaya. 
se cambia todo. Uy. Bueno, este, asegurémonos de que esta es la información, ¿verdad? Tenemos después del, el, el, después tenemos nombre del curso, que es en este caso inglés principiante del módulo 3. Fecha de inicio, julio 5. Imagínense julio 5, ahora estamos a julio 30. Esa es la fecha de finalización, ¿verdad? Así que esa le vamos a poner todos. Ahí tenemos el link de la encuesta. Cuando abrimos ese link de la encuesta, creo que ya lo abrieron todos les va a aparecer este, la pantalla siguiente. La pantalla siguiente, permítanme, se les voy a compartir. Si lo van a hacer en la, en la computadora, eso facilita un poco, pero tampoco este, significa que no lo pueda hacer en el celular. Les aparece esta encuesta, ¿verdad? Este, ahí comenzamos a ingresar. Si gustan, lo vamos haciendo todos. Acuérdense que podemos copiar y pegar, es más fácil. Asegurémonos de que no tenga ningún espacio el número de orden. Ingrese el número completo de orden de inicio que aparecía ¿verdad? en el en el este en el correo que recibieron. Todos, por favor, si gustan, vamos en orden. Eh, el número completo con guiones y pleca. ¿Sí? Luego copiamos también o ingresamos el nombre, el su nombre completo. Algo importantísimo, como siempre lo hemos dicho, es que el nombre tiene que ser tal y cual aparece en su DUI, ¿verdad? Su nombre completo. Hay que ingresarlo. Before. ¿Todos, ¿Todos vamos bien con el nombre? Guys? Y si alguien, pues, tiene alguna pregunta. Bueno, sigamos entonces. Luego tenemos el correo electrónico. Hay que ingresar el que nos proporcionó para inscribirse en el curso. Asegúrense que sea ese correo el que van a ingresar aquí. ¿Ok? Este... ¿Me confirman si todos están ya en la parte del correo, por favor? ¿Sí? ¿No hay, ¿No hay problema? Ok. Continuemos. Número de celular. Aquí también, por favor, ingresen el número de celular, ¿verdad? El que se nos, nos proporcionó. Número de celular. Luego, el sexo. Femenino o masculino, usted sabrá. Y oh, luego... Dios. Perdón, Glory. Aquí no se van a cambiar de nombre. Aquí el nombre exacto, como aparece en el DUI, sexo, departamento de residencia. Ahí hay que elegir en el menú que se nos proporciona. Hay que elegir el, 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 este, el departamento. Cabal, la, la ciudad de los cocos. Belleza. <ríe> Cabal. Luego el, el, el municipio de residencia, si sí hay que ingresarlo. Ustedes se sabrán su municipio. Manual. Manual, sí, de acuerdo a, a, a su tuyo también, información. Residencia. Entonces, luego, empresa donde trabaja. Entonces, también hay que ingresar la manual. El proveedor, proveedor, uh, proveedor, perdón, con el que se capacitó. Ahí sí hay una, hay un menú desplegable. Ahí lo vamos a elegir. Como decíamos, es Regal International, ¿verdad? Es inglés corporativo. Hay que seleccionar esa opción. ¿no? Inglés corporativo. Ok. Luego que ya tengamos es el nombre del curso. Eso lo copiamos también de la, de, de la información que se les compartió el correo. Solo hay que copiar y pegar si es posible. Nombre del curso. Y luego el nombre del curso en inglés principiante módulo 3 aparece ya. Luego, iniciamos con las primeras valoraciones. Ahí este, usted lea los, los statements que se le brindan y pues hay que seleccionar, ¿verdad? El que mejor represente su sentir y de acuerdo al... Ya veo que se me adelantó Gerson. Hay que poner el número de DUI completo cuando mande su captura. Eso. Este, luego sus valoraciones, 
Um, ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente? Su mejor este, respuesta. ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Y luego, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Aquí pues usted eh, se puede evaluar el, el manual, las clases que cómo se le han impartido, las herramientas utilizadas, la plataforma que se ha utilizado, que nos ha venido también a, sirviendo de gran utilidad ¿verdad? En, en el desarrollo del contenido y de la práctica. Luego hay que irse a la información que tenemos en, la, en el correo o en el WhatsApp y coloquemos la fecha de inicio, como les comentaba al principio, y la fecha que finalizó. Hay un calendario también que se proporciona. Hay que asegurarse que seleccionamos la fecha correcta, para que no se nos vaya a cambiar. Tenemos unas flechitas en la parte de arriba que puede movilizar el mes, si es necesario. Creo que no va a ser necesario. Estamos en el mismo mes de julio. Solo marquemos la fecha de inicio dando un clic el día que iniciamos. En este caso dijimos que era el día 5. Y luego pues la fecha de finalización, que ese día el día de ahora. Volvemos a hacer clic en el, en el, en el calendario y seleccionamos 30 de, de julio. Posteriormente a eso, el nivel de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Este, ahí tenemos dos opciones. Elija la que mejor represente su, su sentir, de acuerdo a lo, de la manera que se ha trabajado con usted, ¿verdad? En cuanto al desarrollo del módulo las cuatro semanas. Eh, posteriormente, si usted tiene, está interesado en algún otro curso que se imparten por medio de Insafor, pues ahí usted puede expresar, ¿verdad? Uno o dos, no sé, sea, usted sabrá. Y algún comentario, ¿verdad? Adicional que quiera brindar, es muy importante que nos, nos lo haga saber, ¿verdad? Así que tómense, por favor, unos dos minutos más y para completarlo y pues luego... Todos van a mandarme su captura al grupo, como algunos ya lo están haciendo. Y, y asegúrense de escribir el nombre completo a la captura, ¿verdad? No solo un nombre y solo un apellido, los dos nombres. Es, y los dos apellidos si es posible, ¿verdad? Y gracias a los que lo están mandando ya y también con números de DUI. Estamos conectados aquí 10 y... Bueno, serían con mi persona... Necesito 14, 14 capturas clase ya que son 14 los que están conectados. Tómense unos dos minutos más y espero aquí sus, sus capturas en el, en, la, en, el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿okay? Cualquier pregunta, estoy aquí también a sus órdenes. Y pues también tenemos ¿verdad? apoyo en este momento para solventar sus dudas. Ok, ya tengo un par de capturas. Tengo en el grupo de Gerson. No sé si me voy a mandar su nombre completo, Gerson. Veo que mandó el DUI. Luego, si podría borrar esa, esa captura, Gerson, y poner su nombre completo, sería excelente. Eh, luego tenemos de Cristina, Gaby. Ok, tenemos el Daniel. Marlene, ok, Xiomara, okay. algunas aún hacen falta, ok, esa captura hay que ponerle también el nombre, por favor, el tema que, recibí, que se ha recibido. revisar cuántas ya se han recibido. Ok. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, siete. Faltan siete todavía. No hay problema, tómense el tiempo.
Ok, tenemos también la de JC, la de Rafa. Ok, thank you Norma, thank you Linda, oh, sí. ¿Quién hace falta? ¿Narciso? Yo hago falta. Vaya, no hay problema, no hay eso, problema. Eso es lo que estoy haciendo en la computadora. Este, sí, no hay problema. No hay problema. Toma ese tiempo, sí, no hay sí, problema. Ok, tengo el de María Julia, el de Jesús. Ok. Rubén está con estilo, hace la letra. <laughs> ok, good. I like it. Este, si puede ponerlo, sería excelente, Rubén. Vaya, tenemos la de Marvin. Okay. Alguien dice ahí todo puede ser en Bitcoin. Yo no hay. Ah, José Rubén. Ah, de verdad. ¿Quién debe? <risa> Ey, pague el nombre, no hay que ser así. <risa> Está bien, ponga el tuyo. <risa> ah, ok. Bueno, um, 
indolente a la computadora. No hay problema. No hay problema. Si tomes el tiempo. Y con lo de la con el detalle este Daniel es ya estoy esperando la confirmación. También tenemos personas que están trabajando en ello. ¿Para cuándo sí. tiene máximo usted? No, no, no. Cuando fecha, eh, fecha no me han dado. Bueno. Igual, ¿verdad? cuando esté listo, pues no bueno. hay problema, yo lo envío. Bueno. Me lo envío y yo lo, yo lo envío. Gracias. Sí. Bueno, excelente. Ok, bueno, en lo que Narciso nos comparte, creo que solo Narciso hace falta, ¿verdad, Narciso? Sí. No pressure, no pressure. <risa> no pressure, solo, solo Narciso <risa> falta, no pressure. <risa> Con otra cosita. Aquí en la computadora es otra, otra forma de hacer. Sí, no, tranquilo, tranquilo. Ferruene de la mafia, de mafia Wangui. Oh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I know. You. That, because, I, I... because it's the, it's the, uh -huh. it's the fear. Because it's the fear. Por eso that's... tiene miedo. Okay, that's why he's afraid, <laughs> right? He's afraid. <laughs> okay. And look, look at the cat he's saying to the kitty. Where do you live, Ruben? Don't tell me. I think I know. <laughs> Ruben, in la, I'll say in, 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 <laughs> in the campanera. <laughs> Ruben is my friend. <laughs> Ruben? Where do you live? San Jacinto, Cuartel ah. del Zapote. Oh, 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 por Dios. Ok. Yo voy a decir la campanera de ay, mamá. <laughs> ok. Narciso, do you need some help? ¿Alguna ayuda, Narciso? La computadora está lenta. Ok. Pero en cuanto ya ingresó la gran yeah. texto, está haciendo Narciso. No, no, no. <laughs> Quejándose de todo en esta. Ajá. Narciso. No. Un de observaciones. Es ay, es ok. Ok. Yo quiero decir una cosa. No problem. Es que el problema mío es que no tengo ni el WhatsApp del de, de grupo. Me, lo puede, me puede enviar ahí una notificación. No está en el WhatsApp del grupo. No. Ah, en serio. Sí. Como dice que yo no puedo agregar en ese grupo, pero podemos pedir a que mándemela al personal, la, mándemela a mí, le voy a escribir. Ah, pero ¿cuál es su número entonces? Para que yo lo mande al grupo. Mi número es como, si usted me lo da, yo lo agrego y le mando. Sí. Si pueden, me gusta, me da el número. Me lo puede mandar ahí en mensaje. Si gusta, también. Si no. okay. no tenga miedo, Narcisa. <ríe> ya siente que, le, <ríe> siente que le cae la renta. No, no, no está escuchando, Rubén. No lo vamos a notar. Rubén. No escribas. Tiene miedo de las chicas ahí que le vayan a notar el nombre. Lo van a empezar a acosar, Narciso. Gloria, Gloria le va a escribir. Gloria. <risa> <risa> ¿Yo qué? 
Oh, you mean no? Ah, ¿Cuál? Ok. Ok. Sin miedo al éxito, Narciso. Buenas, buenas. No, no fear, no fear, without fear of yeah. success. Go ahead. Teacher, the Sunday I'm going to San Sonate City. Yeah. It's all y salco específicamente. Ok, salco, bien. Yeah. Todo ahí. Yo estaba. Yo estaba loro al. How say? ¿Cómo dice? Tengo unos terrenos por ahí. How say? I. 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 Unos terrenos. A loro terren. Terren. ¿Cómo es? No. Terrenitos. No, 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 puede ser lands. Lands. I have, I have a loro land. Nah. Properties. Half, properties. It's a half apple. Half apple, yes. Have, have, no. 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 By 78, 78, 43, 42, 89. No quise dar su número, miren. 78, 43, 48, 42, 89. 68, 43, uh -huh. ¿sí? 42, 42, 89, 89 exacto. Sí. Le, le tomó captura. Le tomé captura, okay. lo que pasa es de que lo pasé a Word y todo eso. Ah, ok. Ok, sí, bueno, pero no hay problema. Volviendo, well, teacher, and, and, and uh, go back to the we uh -huh. talking uh -huh. the eh, topic the topic yes is cuando yo digo es la unidad que me, de medida que usan manzana manzana de terreno <risa> de comer de comer <risa> hectáreas por eso, <risa> no no por eso pero es que la, es, vaya, en 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 salvadoreño o en, en español uh -huh. la manzana es es una medida de terreno es una medida que seis tareas seis tareas digamos <risa> Bueno, ahí, ahí, sí, ahí, sí, no, ahí sí no sé, yo, yo solo la conozco como, como una manzana. Uh -huh. Pero cuánta, yo, en, en el promedio que, esté, que está ahí donde yo estoy, es media manzana prácticamente. Uh -huh. Eso sí. es como han dicho. Ajá, por eso le decía al Apple. Uh -huh. No, pero... Parte, o sea, según lo que dice, eh, eh, ¿quién dice Rubén? Uh -huh. No, no, este Rafael <ríe> dijo, dijo que eran... Dijo que eran tarea, 16, tarea, 16, tarea, ¿qué? Tarea. 16 tareas. Ok, ah, ahí pues, cayó Sí. Ahí cayó Sí. Entonces tenemos 8 tareas. Sí. 8 tareas. 8 tareas. 8 homework. Hoy sí, teacher. Sí, ya estuvo, Narciso. Ya lo okay. tengo, ya lo tengo, Narciso. Muchas gracias. No. Este, ya lo gracias voy a compartir. Gracias a ustedes que me esperaron. No me lo he compartido el grupo. Eh, yo, sugerir, yo sugiero, Daniel, el tema ese es manejarlo por metros, aunque yo, un, lo que utiliza más hey, hey niches. Homework, hey, homework of, of, hey, homework of, of land. Yo sí. creía que tenía manzana, en su terreno. Ah, no, 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 Ya voy a sembrar, ¿para qué? Ya voy a sembrar. Ah, bueno. Vaya, Narciso, ya me manda su nombre completo también, por favor, Narciso. Ahí junto también, ah, que el archivo dice, ah, no, sí, ok. Bueno, yo lo voy a compartir. Muchas gracias. 
Así que vamos a recomendarle a Daniel ahí que no, eso sería más que todo en, en, habría que investigar qué dice un topógrafo en inglés, cómo lo miden en los terrenos, ¿no? Sí, ¿Verdad? Ajá, ajá. sí, porque debe haber una unidad de medida para terrenos. terrenos. Los terrenos, teacher. Uh -huh. teacher. Los terrenos se miden dependiendo de su, su, su área, pues. Si es grande, uh -huh. por manzanas. La manzana, la manzana tiene 7 mil metros cuadrados. Ah, equivalente ahí, a 10 mil varas cuadradas. Nosotros tenemos, nosotros tenemos como 3.500 metros cuadrados. Por eso, a eso 3, me refiero, me... cuadrados, es ahí, un tercio de manzana. Por ahí, por ahí. Ajá, sí. Por ahí, exactamente. Bueno, Creo que ahí vamos a averiguar. Meters, si, usted quiere, si usted quiere traducir un metro cuadrado a varas cuadradas, lo mide, mide este, divide el metro entre 0.6988.96. Bárbaro, areno, da. Ah, en el que su trabajo. Una, una, <risa> sí, una cátedra. Bueno, sí está sí. bien. Yo, yo diría en metros cuadrados, es, eh, o si no, a lo máximo serían quizás Vamos hinches, a averiguar. hinches o pulgadas, no sé cómo lo manejan. Muchos. Pero, muchos. Ajá. Vamos, Entonces, vamos a averiguar. Ok. Guys, bueno, tenemos. De que voy, sí. voy. <risa> nice. Enjoy your land, ok. And yeah, if I, if I get to know something about how to measure it, I'll, I'll let you know. Si investigo cómo también miden, ahí, ahí le dejo saber. Pero yo creo que okay. es meters or inches square, algo así. Tiene que, pero vamos a investigar mejor. Um, well, uh, terminamos, guys. Yo había pensado hacer un repaso del going to, pero hablemos de un solo. Y sé que el going to no es un tema que se les ha dificultado a todos. Entonces vamos a pasar de un solo a esta pequeña actividad. Es vacation time. ¿Qué les parece si me cuentan así rapidito, uno, dos o tres, sobre sus planes de vacaciones? Ya háganlo en inglés. A ver, pensemos okay. en... I'm, en... Start, start me. Ok, pensemos, <laughs> Daniel, en what, where, when, who, why, how. No, teacher, my, 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 only, only say this, I don't have plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero, pero, lea... <laughs> Lea lo que dice aquí en, en azulito. If you don't have plan to come out your... Uh, ah, my ideal vacation. Ajá. Mm, ok. Eh, what? What? Ajá. Where? Eh, when? Who? Con quién? Por qué? Y cómo? El what es... Bueno, ¿verdad? Actividades. Uh, what? Oh, what ajá. is... Go to the mountain. Yeah, where, where uh, to the uh, where go, go to the mountain when, when with my wife uh, with of uh, camping the camping uh -huh. the campamento but uh -huh. where ella no le gusta <laughs> but she doesn't <laughs> like <laughs> she doesn't like así que This is the problem. Okay. Pero a mí me gusta, si así vamos a yo el hijo. No, hombre. Pero hablemos, let's, let's talk about the future. For, for example, Daniel. I, uh, okay. Uh, future. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, to the hospital, Chalatenango, uh -huh. to, to, how say, to camping. With my wife in my, in my home and this location. Okay, and so you are you are going to go camping to Chalatenango with your wife, right? And how are you, how are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Uh, two days. Okay, how? Are you going to get there? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this this month, um, Sunday. This Sunday. Mm -hmm. And listen to the question. How are you going to get there? Like, ¿Cómo va a llegar ahí en qué? Uh, How? Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's in driving my car. Okay. Okay. I'm going, okay. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to drive in, to drive my car i'm going to drive 
Okay, my car. Great. Okay. Alguien más le Thank you so much, Daniel, for sharing. Alguien más le gustaría improvisar. Pensemos, I am going to go to this place. I'm going to go with my family. My family is going to go with me. Uh, we're going to go on August or on, on Christmas time. So you talk to me. Y we are going to play, blah, blah, blah. Entonces, esos detallitos. Tenemos chance para uno, dos o tres más. ¿Quién le gustaría improvisar? Vacation time is coming this coming week. Me. Okay. I, I think I'm going to visit my family in Chachuapa. Uh, I'm going to eat uh, yuca. Right, I, yuca. <laughs> okay. I visit. I'm going to visit the the Tasumal ruins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh -huh. Is I'm going to visit the. How do you say Laguna? It's Lagoon or Lagoon. Lagoon, Lagoon yes. Lagoon. Eso me recuerda a un chat que se llama Blue Lagoon. <laughs> Alguien ya lo ha probado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And what are you going to do there? ¿Qué va a hacer? What are you going to do? Mm. In my house? On, on, on vacation. On um, vacation, visit my family. I'm going to visit my family. Uh -huh. And what are you going to do? What what activities are you going to do? Uh, the, the traveling in Chalchuapa. Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat? Are you going to play? I, you are, to I, 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 you, I am going to eat the yuca. Okay, that's it. Only eating, 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 eating. <laughs> okay. No. Thank, no. thank you. Thank I, you so much. Thank you so much, Gloria. If you are good. happy, if you are happy, <laughs> eating. if you are sick, eating. if you are afraid, eating. <laughs> right, I can see she likes eating a lot. Okay. Okay, who else wants to share? What what are your plans for vacation, guys? This coming vacations, like next week. Any plans? What are you going to do? Me. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do, Marlene? Okay, I don't have I don't have vacation in the next week. <laughs> But my ideal vacation is um I travel um I wrote a mm. because I like it and and where is is in Honduras and when in my I go I going to in the yearly vacation okay it's in september i think and who i i think i going we going to um is with my brother maybe and and and, and i get i get no i go by my no not my my car is a bus. Uh -huh. Travel agents. Uh -huh. And only that. Okay, good. Thank you so much, guys. Well, uh, yo sé que todos quieren compartir, pero ya no hay tiempo. ¿verdad? Así que agradezco muchísimo. Clase, no se duerma, Gabriela. Este... <laughs> Vaya, hoy sí sonrían. Le voy a tomar una foto y es lo último, ya falta un minuto. Ok, sonríe a la cámara. Ahí. Eh, smile a while, if you can. Ahorita. Smile. Voy a peinar ahorita. Let me see. Picture time. Este es solo para, solo para. 
para nosotros, ¿verdad? No. <ríe> Don't share. No, publicado. Ok, ok. Mañana no, yo no publico en mi Facebook. No, no. Uh -huh. <ríe> ok. Bueno, la verdad es que ha sido un placer una vez más. De, o sea, son un grupo bien selecto. Todos participan, se ponen las pilas. Y ya la tomó, Ticho. Y, y, es... <ríe> y, no, y ya la tomó. No, me doy <ríe> Y sí, el, grupo, el, 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 grupo. el grupo no lo puedo mandar, pero si ustedes me la piden, no. se las mando. La, nunca nadie, ah, me, okay, la pide, pues, okay. nadie okay. me la pide, pero sí. Ah, pues, Exclusiva. Yo se la pido, yo se la pido. Sí. Mándela, porfa. No, no le he tomado todavía. Voy a tomar un par. privado. Vaya, este, voy a tomar okay, un par. Ok, nos avisa. Smile, ok, be ready. Here we go. Three, digan cheese. Oh, no sé qué dicen ustedes. Three, uh, two, one. Uh, uh, Aquí está. Three, two, one. Beers. Pueden decir también beers, ¿verdad? Si beers. Usted, lo, 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 que, lo que lo haga más feliz. Uh, I want uh, beer. Dice okay. Gloria. Ahora te llamará Gloria. Este, permítame, vamos a mandarlo a alguien. Lo voy a pegar por aquí. Si la última vez no la pegué y le, y le di otra función en la compu, ya no me la reconoció. Ahí se la mandé a alguien ahorita, Narciso, que fue el último que me la escribió para que me quede. Para la crazy picture, please. Crazy picture, quiero ver. Three, two, one. <ríe> Trae los <Yeah>. ojos. <ríe> ok. Nice. Bueno, chicos, eh, la verdad que es un es, es a real privilege to have this class. Y pues cuídense mucho. Enjoy your vacation. Have a nice day. Night y al see you when I'll Ojalá see que you. nos toque el siguiente módulo. <laughs> ok, it'll be a pleasure. Otherwise, I'll see you. Cuando lo vuelva a ver, si en el futuro nos volvemos a ver, todo bien fluent English, ¿verdad? Speaking, no Spanish. Of course. <laughs> All right. Spanish. Ok. I forget bye. it. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. All right, bye bye. My pleasure. Bye, Good vacation. Enjoy vacation, Thank Glory. You. <laughs>